they're going to go traditional. It's Queen of Pain versus Lena in the huh. mid lane. Supports that make space for a lot of these cores too. Like, DY's been having a great time, but here comes your toss. It's Tim's going to work very early on. Paralysis and Cast make it difficult to move forward. The Avalanche buying space, combining with the Barra Strike. This will be first blood. Going the way of Gabby. And here they go again with the Observer and Sentry. They're making sure Ori can't see him coming right up the hill. They'll walk TNC into the mid. Paralysis and Cast make this a little bit more problematic. Ori, he's getting a lot of damage out. AU's going to go down. Ori will still fall for this course, but Yang's had time to TP over. Armel TPing out. One more infinite will be enough damage. And Armel going to fight around the bottom, but Radiant Scan up on the hill. It does ping, so they're already a little bit concerned. Witch Doctor throws out the cast, won't bounce to anyone, but Juggernaut ready to fight. They need some damage with Maldi already being committed. Ancient Apparitions back to relative safety, but with three seconds of the runes, Sentry Wards are down. Witch Doctor getting really caught out by the Avalanche. Maybe with the heal, no, it's still not going to be enough. But PG Gaming, they want to fight. Shockwave connects on two. The Infest, Tiny, where are you going? Yeah, you've got someone else inside of you now. Gabby will pop out. Paparazzi's already got the kill on Tim's. Well, up on top, Cuckoo keeping Yang away from the runes, but because he Barra striked in, no escape. Sandstorm was just on cooldown. Kind of movement. TNC is smoked up looking for something on bottom lane. No one's coming to contest that. Once again, VG arrive at the T1 tower at mid. Did you notice TNC's movement there? They started Sorry. making their own move towards bottom. VG start pushing in toward mid, and they have to cycle back in again. Oh, ice blast. Toss, ice blast. No! Forza pushes Yang out, saving himself. And now the Ancient Apparition trapped underneath the Juggernaut. Sand King is dying in the back lines too. The Maldi, I think, is actually going to end up popping him off camera. Yep, that's what happens. Yule Scepter is, is just the catch out. Armel can't move anywhere with the RP and Aussie Slash. TNC are playing stuck in the mud, and no one wants to run through their legs. Perfect fight from them. Yeah. On the other side, he of the probably lost it. He's been he's been taking many creeps as a wolf right now. Cuckoo under the cover of smoke. Yang. And that feels like bait. Cuckoo blinks up, Barra strikes. Here comes your Ice Blast coming in with the four stuffs. Orange just pushed away. So is Bay, but he won't silence up, so no RP available for him. And maybe with Tim's control on the back lines, DY can't do enough to really stop him. Here comes Gabby once again, looking for his targets, but the Omni Slash, the damage is ridiculously good. Tim has been pushed away. He does have the Life Stealer inside of him. The downhill fall from the ground with the Impetus. It does a lot of damage. He has to hide in the pit. Two, one, now blink oh. away to safety. The illusion Taking roots. Gabby with him. Tim's just had to toss his tree in, but with the Vortex, Tim's, you can see him. He knows he's got an Observer and Sentry around the side, but wait, he didn't realize there was a Dire Observer right above. Four stop! He'll try and dodge the stuns, throws out the Avalanche. Here comes your Ice Buzz as well. You're going to fight inside the pit. Tim's the only one hit by that, and that's an ally. Gabby, how can he get away? Three seconds till Infest up the hill, continues to rage, continues to toggle, and he does have the distance. All right, time jump to Dragon. That'll be a little bit more immune. Tim's, he's in it once again. Another huge Avalanche, but where's the follow-up? Yang, Paparazzi, Ori, they're still up on the high ground. A double bar strike from Cuckoo is buying space for Tim's. He's just hiding inside the trees. Stay away from him, Yang. No, not going to happen. Trees are not safety. Tiny will buy back once again underneath the shrine. DY, he's trapped down. Gabby, able to get back-to-back -back kills. But Tim's, who does he want? He's still realizing that there's just vision absolutely everywhere. Waiting. But now Armel jumps in once more. That's actually what gave Tiny his confidence to do what he did. But now it's going to get dewatered out. We've got a gem of true sight over on Ori. No more hiding. Ice Blast coming in. DY, four star, tries to just push him out. Not chilled up. The RP, it does catch out Gabby. He's raised up the Sonic Wave. It's huge from Armel. He blinks in with a scream. Cuckoo needs some distance. Barrister coming up cooldown. Now he'll die through the middle of the barrow. And TNT have been fighting in. It feels so hard to play Queen of Pain in this situation. You want to blink in. You want to cast your spells, but you're just exposing yourself uh, to jump off. Oh, four star, okay. back out again. Take the Paralyzing Cards. Back, back, back. Back. Still you back. Where do you think you're going? A virus strike! Huge from Cuckoo! Combining with Gabby! He actually gets the MGAS and also the Ice Boss Paparazzi! It doesn't clip him! He's just fast enough, but it's not fast enough to run away from Gabby! He's just gonna stay right on the back of that one and move to the next target! Enchantress just above Roshan! Or he's trying to force Gabby away inside the jungle and down the hill! Another Yule Scepter! Up he goes! Life Strike Ray follow up! Won't happen! Rage is there to protect Gabby! BG or still wanna try and bottom. fight. They've got this great Observer Warden sentry down. There's just no way that TNC can surprise them by moving up. In fact, right now, Cuckoo playing around that exact vision. The RP, oh, oh the old scepter, the mistiming. This is not good for BG Gaming. Now they can burrow strike and turn around to the back lines. Enchantress and uh, Wish Doctor already dead. Who's the next target? TP out from Vayne. No, he can't do it. There's a Yule Scepter from Queen of Pain. That'll cancel that one out. So Mag will try and run. I got back. The Bastion Juggernaut. He can't TP out.
out. Not with the spin. The bar strike won't even catching Orient Tins with another double stun. It's just back to back to back stunning. Paparazzi, he'll go up in the air once again. Is there a follow up connector? There's another bash out from Gabby. He just keeps letting it rip his Tins. Bar strikes forward. What else has he got? There's a sonic wave from Armel to bring down Paparazzi and Witch Doctor. It'll be a die back for DY. Cuckoo's not done yet. He bar strikes forward, but he cannot connect on the leaner. And then refresh and go for it again, or swap it in. Yeah, you've got to swap it in for phase. Yeah. Swap any of the other items. He, he needs everything else. Jang, oh. there's your jump in. Ice Blast is coming in towards the Enchantress. The Force Staff will get around. Paparazzi already the spin. Armel's in pretty deep. BKB also bashed up, stunned up, maybe a little too deep. Armel, he's oh. going to go down. He never even was able to trigger the cheese. Hex over on Gabby with the good play. The RP from Bane! Middle connect with the double line strike array. Try and run back up the hill. Fade wants to oh. stay with him, and he actually invested. He blinks up to the side. Tim's, how many times can he be the get out jail free card underneath the tire ups over one? They see him, the skewer, it'll cancel everything. Back into Pavarazzi, back in the fight. You'll end up losing Fade once again, but he's the sacrificial lamb. Or he's moved in with his own hex, controlling Tim's on the sideline. They'll have to finish one, then the other, or Gabby can just go full Artur. Trying to actually get more kills. He's picked up the support. Now they're going to focus on him. Tim's ready for his own combination. He'll jump in for the three-man avalanche. Tosses Gabby. Wants to fight. They are just making it difficult to find kills. Ari protected by the BKB, but Gabby gets the bash up. Still trying to fight this one out. Has he got the damage with the bash on Yang? Gabby wants to be the real immortal. They'll turn back over to Tim's. VG Gaming. They just can't decide who they want to kill. The TP out from Life Steel will be successful on 400 HP. Tim's, can he get out as well? Back past the free wave. They can't reach. Him. They're away! How many life the moments do we need in this tournament? I mean, sure he doesn't oh, get a life save, wall. but they kind of... <laughs> feels like every time in the last 30 minutes that they oh, have a huge Ari. advantage. Ari, he's so close to all of TNC. Just after what happened, the Lincoln Sphere will break. So they don't get the opportunity. Oh, oh Cuckoo! Just so short, the RP will hold him in the ice spot. It's Gabby! He needs that life! He's a life stealer! Cuckoo, kills him up, stun him up, Light strike array, he'll get the following stun, even if Cuckoo does change position, Laguna Blade is out, Cuckoo is down, the gem of true side has been dropped. Jugger, however, did not swap in his refresher orb, so doesn't have Omni Slash ready in this RP. No, but he's still got his BKP, and that's what he's probably thinking about. Yep. If oh. he uses it already, he won't have the second immunity, first buyback comes in. It's gonna be the SK, Paparazzi stays on the front lines. Spin will give him the protection. Ice Blast will arrive. Tiny, the BKB from Paparazzi, gives him the protection. It does keep walking. Oh, it's going! It's a two man RP! We'll try and push him away. Goes up to protecting Tim for the moment. The bash is over on Queen of Pinch. You can't take with the bar. Strike Sonic Way! Layer it on! BG Gaming! Three players down. It's about to be four. Yang has no way to escape. And BG Gaming, they thought they could push. They took a tier three tower, but that's all they will take. The lane, the Shadow Blade from Fade, he wants the jump. He bought this item just for this to hit that one RP. So Ori managed to get the Hex off, but Force Staff Glimmer Cape easily saves the Queen of Pain. And we're back to square one. Sandstorm. Yep. Sandstorm blink. Fire Strike catches two with the Infest pop up. They're able to keep the chase going. Who can they kill off? Magnus is low. He cannot be low. He needs to RP right now, but he's muted. Silence up. Two heroes down without the buyback. Armel family from the high ground giving the entrance. Major life still of the ball, however. Ari, he's just trying to be the leader cannon up on the hillside. Run away. The bounty's not worth the juggernaut because Tim is back in once again with a double stun. The BKB is protecting Yang and now SK's down. Buyback, you may as well keep this fight going. Tim got on the wrong side of the cliff. Three heroes down. BG Gaming, however, do not have buyback on two of theirs. Their presence or their lack of in the lanes has definitely been noted. Is someone going to finally grab this gem of true sight? <laughs> it's just been sitting above Rosham forever. Tree tossing out, life dealers inside the pit, juggernaut, that's a, no, that's a lot of damage you can get in. Yank throwing it's out the hands, and maybe now, well, you've actually got the bash out, they're going to get the kill on Paparazzi. He'll fight back, but Roshan's already being claimed. Gabby's trying to grab absolutely everything off the field at the moment. Cuckoo wrapping around the back. Vici also smoking out. Roshan won't respawn for another 30 seconds at the earliest. But Yang, he's the bait. The blink. Fire strike. Out they jump. Out they go to rotation. Oh, a huge avalanche on the back lines. Paparazzi and Fade instantly couldn't respond. But now they can. In towards Tim. They want to kill him off with the Sonic Wave. They're all being pushed out of the ultimate of AA. But it won't matter when Magnus is going to pop anyway. Buyback's coming thick and fast. All three.
recovery even back up again. And now Enchantress just needs the hills. Actually, it's just Lena with the hills had advantage. They'll move back up. Oh, the buyback down from BG Gaming. They have enough from Paparazzi on the back of the Omni Slash with the extra bash. They just need to hold Cuckoo's there, but they can't do it. Now you're off, man. Blinking away to safety. Faith got blink off cooldown one second time. Amel's feeling like they should already be there. Oh, Yang. Yang, the bar strike. He was going for the rune right now. Fireman. He's actually going to be bloodthorned up. And how much control have they got? Your Scepter arriving. Faith, he may need to help out. A quick four stop. Yang's going to be going to be Amel. Blinks himself forward. Well, that's not complicated, but that's daring. They still want to go for more. Infest delivery system right now. The blink bar is strike. Goo Goo got two. Combining with the shadow strike. They just fear them up. Enchantress, Paparazzi. They're trying to BKB and get the hell out of here. Buyback's not really available anyone apart from Paparazzi. Magnus, he's actually cold feet it up. Oh, Bell just beating him down with the daggers. Chucking all the laws are full. No life, no matter. No teammates. Three players from VG Gaming pushing up the daisies. TNC. They could have maybe held for another 10 minutes or more in their base, who knows, but now they don't even get the chance. GG! That's it! They just call it 76 minutes in for, well, an anticlimactic end. All for a bounty raid, all for greed. Odie was a good ban, I think it matches well against Kanka. If it's a little scary versus the Lifesteer. Uh, if you can catch him without the rage, you can go. Oh. This is going to be a razor in the middle. Could get free. Because you got Faye coming over. So, yeah, Faye should be a secure bottom lane, but Yang's in a lot of trouble. He's That's way too many stacks of Quill Spray. And I don't know if Tide will be having a good time down here anymore. They're going for Armel. They know Static Link is down. X Mark, Torrent up. DY is moving in. Tim's thinks he can do a little bit more, but you've still got Fade who can pick him up and with destruction throws him to the other side of the rock wall underneath the tier one tower. Tim's can't help out anymore. In fact, he tried to keep chasing down. All he had was a totem. And now the mid tower being pushed by Tim oh, This God. is the bigger tower. And Gabby's taking the stack while this is happening. They don't even have to commit their bristle back. He's taking the stacks from the side. Yang's trying to have his own little battle with Tim's Ori. X marks his spots on cooldown for the moment, trying to go for a blind torrent. Tim's a little bit off target. If Yang really wants this, he can commit the Ravage. He may have to do so because Ari, the plasma field. Armel just moves over from the mid lane to find the kill, and Faye's got nothing more to give. Yang, he's got one charges. He's going to burn the Ravage, eclipse the bristle back on the back lines, but they really just want to kill off Armel. He's dealing all the damage out of Paparazzi, so he's hitting my kittens. Armel through the trees. He's still got 75 HP, but Paparazzi got negative 150 damage. Cuckoo will create some space with the Avalanche toss, and Yang will in fact die. Huge for Armel that he just barely manages to get Static Link off before the Ravage connected. Yeah, VG Gaming really want to have a fight up on top lane. If Gabby hangs around just long enough to get in range of the X Mark spot, which is what happens. CP support is coming in. They'll hit him with a ship and we'll see just how much damage can be done. Ice Blast, it's flying in. Who's that one actually going to belong to? It belongs to the Radiant side. They've already killed off Gabby. Echo Slam will go. The Ravage doesn't clip Armel on the back lines, but Tim's Echo Slam is really ineffective. He does manage to get out, but that was a really awkward spot he got himself caught up in. Yang wants to fight. They have the observed ward. They know that Armel's still nearby, so DY gonna start with the disruption. Purge is available. How much control have they got? Pick up, throw down, Ice Blast. It's gonna connect over on three heroes, combining with the Avalanche with the Ravage from Yang. It'll create the space back again. Cuckoo. Well, you'll have Toss stolen, so throw him around, throw him in. As that, uh, well, run away. Gabby, he's now arriving. Fade, trying to get away from the cold feet. Gabby wants to focus down on him. They're still too dead for the moment, and it will be a very dead Rubik. Lead the kill with Tiny or with Bristle, get a response, and then you can turn it around. You see that they're, they're forcing Roche right now. Yep. Bristle can tank it, he'll keep stacking up the ghoul, and if a team fight breaks out, Shaker has the dagger. They should know it though, he walked through a ward now, so they have an ample time to click him. It's just a little early though for him. Oh, well, here comes your avalanche. Toss comes, Ice Blast. They're going to avoid a VG Gaming. Up the hill and away, but the Blink Echo Slam connecting on two with a Fissure on the three. The buys some time and defensive disruption, and Arvel's caught on the wrong side of the rock wall. Dead for 44 seconds, but it won't matter when Gabby continues to stack up the Quill Spray stacks. He's going for Yang a little bit further up, while Fade has to battle against three. He's almost up. They're just tossing everybody around. As then Yori looking for the cleave. He can't get it though. Gabby's already got him with a Fissure. Now he'll get it onto AU. But they want the bigger one. They want Tim's. He's the man to start this. And they're going to bring him down. Cuckoo's not done just yet. Ori, toss him up. Try and get him onto the Radiant side. Gabby's moving in, and Ori knows he's dead. Gabby with a triple kill. He's still the Invincible, but he wasn't there for most of that fight. Yeah, that looked like indecision from Vici. Like, 
the call was to go and somebody immediately counter called that like we can't go and they end up just wasting away a ghost ship 25 seconds on it now once again Faye trying to clean this up tim's cuckoo looking to jump in through the side and they're gonna get it it's a nice ravage over on two and actually this build damage oh, Rizzle wow. died so quickly what? i am uncertain but armel he's certainly dead in behind the back lines looking for his own kill disruption from DY, buy some time for Yang to move away. He wants to stick around for the extra gush. Maybe an anchor smash. You've got good damage from Cuckoo. And then the Fidger. They hold him there, but Armel can't go anywhere. He's trapped inside the rock wall. Cuckoo, he stopped his TP. The creep is going to chase him down. You've also got DY on the back of Tim's. Does he see him? He does, but he doesn't have disruption. He can't kill him. He tries to pop him with the poison, but it won't work. That would be a very bad idea, I think. He doesn't have the information. But uh, during the group stage, we saw a lot more... Uh, Aggressive invasive maneuvers, in my opinion. Oh, DY. He just saw the observed board that was planted on the Ancients. He understands they're right behind it, but the Tyrant, the ship, combo, the tight under in the back line. The BKBs, however, protecting TNC. The Ravage wasn't good enough. Same with the Fidget from Tibbs, keeping the back line of VG under control. Gabby now can start stacking up the Quill Sprays. They've already got the kill over on the SD. Everyone else is trying to get back out. Paparazzi needs a vessel. He needs to infest. Ori came in close to give him that, but now he'll lose his life as well. So Bristle takes the Aegis, Armel will take the cheese. Paparazzi is sent in. He'll rage up the torrent. Well, they're expecting Gabby to come in oh, a little bit closer. Oh. With a Ravage committed, they're gonna get through it. Gabby's down for any seconds. Tims was stunned on the sideline too. Cuckoo creates. Yeah, the next Roche has got to be where it's at. When's the spawning? 130. Both teams will not be leaving that area very much. Kunka's gonna go bottom to push out a little bit. He oh. actually, okay. Jump, find their opening over on Cuckoo. Pick him up and throw him back. The Ice Blast is on the way in. It will be able to connect over on two. Both Yang as well as Paparazzi. Yang still having to wait out these BKBs before the Ravage can be useful as the tree toss begins from Cuckoo. But these BKBs are wearing off TNC. They have to turn around because Yang's about to come in. He's looking for the Blink Ravage. They already go for their initial target. Gabby, he can't turn around. Where is this Ravage? Where is his control? Here it is. Four heroes hit by it. But where's the follow up? Ari's trying to do it all at the moment. X must spot. Torrent, they still haven't killed off Gabby. And now they'll lose more. Ori, four stopped away. A little bit of space being created. Yang can't really help out. Fade wants to, and maybe he has enough with a quick little toss over. Ori, so low on life. The Echo Slam has finally dropped down. Ori and Fade pushing up the daisies. Paparazzi about to join them as well. Maybe he can get our own. No, he can't. He can just die. No life dealer shenanigans this time around. So, some good economical win. Oh. That's an Abyssal, I'm hearing. Yep, bottom lane. They're going in after Paparazzi. He's still got his BKB available as well. That Rage is lasting forever, but so is Armel's like, damage deal. 280 taken out of it. A push away from Cuckoo. Now the Ravage will pop a four star. They're going to X mark and pull him back in again. All that extra life that he gained. Where's your refresher in second time? It ain't going to happen. Or maybe they just stick on top of him. That'll be the way to bring down the Tiny. Buyback comes in from the Rubik. He had a lot of money. Now they look to the Ancient Apparition. Another Torrent pulls him back in once more. Ancient Apparition to fall. Disruption. It is allowed to go to the next target, but there's your refresher. Armel, BKB, and put off the Storm. They're looking for their own damage output, and the stun from ES has stopped Yang from getting the instant Ravage off. And in fact, he doesn't even have the mana for it anyway. They're just going to have to hold in Armel. Yang with the BKB wants to keep on fighting, but now the volley will arrive. They have to start retreating. Vici Gaming back on the shrine. This thing's still up. They're going to regenerate up almost everything they lost, and oh, Gabby's going to try and fight into them. They've got to be careful. Ravage is still available. He can blink forward and just go for it. Bristleback, he gets clipped up, and also the stuns on the sideline. Bristle's down for 100 seconds. Ancient Apparition will also go down, but they pull back the bigger ones. They pull back Cuckoo. They need to get rid of all that damage output that he had. they got to do so. Ice Blast comes too late. TNC, two heroes without buyback and VG Gaming. Yep. AO may have just saved a potential lane of racks there with this bottom push that he was doing with AA. Tim's. This is a solo kill. Jumps out. Can grab the double damage room. Fissure, maybe he doesn't even need it. Echo slams, a quick four star. DY, the Yule Scepter. He went up in the air and now disruption. He'll go two different ways. The Ice Blast flies right over the top. DY needs to kill off the illusions. Won't help. Gabby will find him. Demetru side has been dropped. Still a one for one trade off as they keep on battling. Maybe with the turret. Where's your boat? It's off cooldown, but they don't want to do it. The BKBs protecting TNC for the moment, but they're such low durations. He's got Nocturne Core. Oh, he was hovering um, a little oh, loss. Jump up, fade. Looking for a target, remember he's got that side of the mines as well. The Ravage is going to burn straight away. Tiny, it even clipped the Ancient Apparition in the back lines. Tiny does not have buyback available. Still a 53 second window. So is there anything coming up for TNC now that's going to turn the tides of this game? They oh, have... 
They don't have Satanic There's yet. no big item Tempt coming. Tempt is waiting for the right opportunity. He's moving around the side. That's a good Echo Slam opportunity, but they just lost the Creep Wave. A force up. Yes, puts it back underneath the Team 4 Towers. The Fissure is a fantastic block. Rage now up here from Life Dealer with the BKB. With the BKB speaking to my TNT. They're waiting it out. The Ravage is ready in two, one. BKBs are out, and the Ravage goes number one. Yang, is it time for a second? Maybe it's not. The Aegis Immortal has been burned. One melee round. They're coming back. Another pick up. The X Mark's going to bring the Tunnel back to the front lines with a torrent. Razor, four star board. Blurzorb didn't protect him enough. And now Paparazzi feels like he can just go in. If he can get a bash, they've got the heck from Rage. It's from the Rubik. Rage is down for two minutes. BG Gaming, what do you want now? He needed to go and get that money, or else they wouldn't be able to have him for this fight. And then he'll come around the back. Echo Slam is available. BG may not be looking for it. The badge is already over on Tani. They forced off him away. BKB will protect him. Now, Tims, if you're gonna go, you're gonna go. Three, together, lock him down. From heaven, the shatter arrives, but Life Stealer still gets the BKB off. He's been beaten down by Gabby with all that big damage. Cuckoo will get the jump in as well. Yang will fall. The damage is huge with the anchor smash back again, but they just chase for more. A long toss up towards Bane. Oh my three, God. and she just crit the crap out of him. <laughs> <laughs> three moly. Did he just get three crits in a row? He did. Yep. We'll take that. Oh, oh Rubik. Big up. Uh. Four stop away and Cuckoo. Oh, no, 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 Fade. He doesn't want it. Actually, he wants to steal it, but a great Fissure once again, creating space. Tiny BKBs. This is such a low, call, low, low duration time. They may try and continue the chase. In fact, they do. Here they saw him just at the last moment. Move up the hill. It won't last long enough. The bash is there for Paparazzi with the Abyssal Blade. Tiny will fall. Silver Edge. Up from Conker, walks in, close range, ravaged up pop, Razor, Armel had no time to react with a double ravage, they keep getting up, and they pull both Tims and AU up on the high ground, there's someone gonna force up, he's gonna force up, they'll get himself away with the Glimmer Cape. X marks his spots over on Bristol Pack. Is there another follow through? Silver Edge is coming off cooldown right now, hit him, break him, break him, maybe with a volley. Ice Blast coming back, Bristol Pack low on life, Yank Smash able to help get the kill, two heroes TNC, MVG Gaming, screw Roshan, go for the win. Those two big claws down, there won't be a buyback, there won't be a way to actually stop this. They're going for bottom racks. What are you going for? They're waiting. They're regening up and then they'll come forward. With no buyback, VG will be aware of this because they are on cooldown. Now, Tim, Cuckoo, jumping in, able to get the first little avalanche and hit off, but defensive destruction from DY creates extra space. Abyssal Blade, Sentry Wards are everywhere. Tim! Hits the back line with the Echo Slam. He needs to get the damage going, combining with the Ice Blast. Three heroes be hit by it. Rubik and DY, they'll end up shattering through this, but three heroes down. All the damage, all of it's gone from TNC. This is the win for VG Gaming. They will come through, they will claim more, and they will claim a deciding against TNC, who have fought absolutely valiantly to get to this point. The paparazzi will end it. GG is called. Two games over an hour. Oh, Heroes. no. They got a okay. 20-second pick, Broodmother. And that's that's one thing they can do when Demonic the late game comes up. Is... Uh, Ori's already being heavily attacked up on top lane. Tim's has Toss. He's gonna throw him back a long, long way. Ori's already used the Mystic Snake as much as he can, but there's no regeneration. Gabby gets the first blood. So this is absolutely a problem for TNC that Cuckoo has to evacuate that early, but that was the choice they made when they aggroed the Dusa. Yep. Dusa is in top trouble lane. again. Yep, really staying on top, but then again, the Stampede. Inkswell won't connect, Battle Bond's gonna get three heroes together, and Paparazzi, he's joined the fight. Now he's just gonna turn on the teams. They're all connected together, and no way to break free. Cuckoo trapped in the tree lines. If they can attack into Tim's as well as Gabby, Gabby's gonna try and spin TV out. He actually gets the kill on the way out. He took Brood's tower and is 600 gold ahead of it. Well, now they're trying to do something about it, but all oh, the three men stunned! The hook stomp and the follow-up from Paparazzi, they'll take a U. He came out for the region route. Like, the golden XP graph can only take you so far because it's a lot about knowledge of matchups and how things are supposed oh, great to go. DY. Actually reveals that Urshaker blinks over, but he didn't see DY. Now DY will drop the rock as well as get the better bonds off. Have they got another control? No, they don't. In fact, it's Fade. In trouble, Stampede to disengage. My god, all those spiders just evaporated. Paparazzi and Centaur can go to work. You'll set her up and you will hit the deck in the hardest way possible. And Yang is hunting. Bottom lane, Stampede straight through. Tim's. Well, he knows he's dead. 
paparazzi didn't even arrive in time for the rest of TNT. Hey, what happens? Uh, even if they have to go, yeah, just send the send the spiders. They'll do the job. Yep. But maybe they can get something else. Dusa, as well as SD, is here. TNC five best when they're only four. They already get the slow out the silence. No, man, it's all the wrong. And the better bombs. Three heroes connected together. They're gonna burn so hard. Yang just walking up. You've already taken out the Grimstroke. Gabby, no longer, no longer fell immune. Cannot stand next to Paparazzi. They want Cuckoo. He'll blink away to safety. He gets the spider attack damage talent. And then he's going to have the solo crest and the pipe to keep the spiders alive. Yang missing that up a little bit. Tim's trying to do something with this. As, uh, here comes the blink in from Cuckoo. Great vision block, but it's the biggest hero you got to try and bring down. Once again, Fatal Bond's doing its work, but the Echo Slam, they're getting through what we thought could have been the unkillable. We asked them to do something, and that's exactly what happens. Armel wants to go for more. DY begins to TP. Someone got a stun. Cuckoo does. Blinks forward. And now two heroes from BG Gaming fall. They want to break through him. Rimstroke's looking. Gabby walks in. Gabby walks out. We're playing do -si do in the fog of war. Paparazzi found the target in the back line. Cuckoo dead so quickly. He takes so much damage. Now Paparazzi can burn the regeneration room, get all that mana back. But Tani wants something else. He's tossed back the illusion. He wanted the real one. Now Tipped is out way too far. Yang will capitalize. Hook stopping forward. Able to get the double edge damage. Paparazzi's there too with the lighting. They've got the so stand beating up Tims. There's nowhere to hide. They still think about doing Roshan, but Ori, he is the gatekeeper. At fr the front of the pit, I'll help Paparazzi. Armel can't let this happen. Ori still on the front line with a fidget block. He's trapped up on the high ground. DY can't really help him. Roshan, he will die to BG Gaming. Aegis in the hands right now. It's actually going to be Paparazzi. Gabby, he's trapped and brought down. Broodmother, now he's trying to retreat. The more damage he takes, the faster Grimstroke will die too. Oh, Juggernaut. Yang. Well, Blink, Hoff Stump, quick on the Blade Fury. And Gabby, he needs some distance and he needs it now. The Rock will drop. Here comes Ori too. Needs some extra slow. Broodmother's gonna be nearby. They're doing so much damage. There's no way the Juggernaut can live. Even with the Avalanche, they can't create enough space. Dead without Armel. buyback and Armel. Woo! That TP didn't work. And Armel, no protection. They're trying to slow him down. Great Fisher. Cuckoo. Able to create a little bit of extra space, but VG don't care. They just want to rampage forward. They want that semi final matchup against LGD. And at this rate, they'll take it. TNC, they need a miracle. With haste move speed, pretty much. He took the strength talent, so actually doesn't have full haste move speed, but 510. He's super fine. He has 2.1k. Oh, rude. Ooh, I'm out of the blink. The whole stuff. They catch out the brood mother, and all the stuns. They continue to chain. Brood is dead. 85 seconds. Grimstroke cannot TP out. Faith able to control him with the disruption. And VG are all over TNC. Now going for the Megas. Edict burns through all the buildings. Gabby moves forward, looking for some damage to burn off what mana? No, he's gonna burn off life instead. Perched up, now the rock will drop. He just wanted to control the Juggernaut. He'll still get the Omni Slash off, however, but how much damage is this really doing? They're so tanky and split across the fight. That's GG, four heroes gone. BG Gaming will advance to the semi-finals to have a date with an all LGD BG China. Semi-final one.